Hello everyone, welcome to my Birchbox Man August 2012 unboxing and overview video. This is the August 2012 box. I'm not sure what's inside. Again, you get a random sampling of um, grooming and personal care and lifestyle items every month for a $20 fee. You fill out a survey when you join the subscription service and they send you things based on your interests. So I guess we will dive right into the August box. I haven't opened this yet. Figured I'd do it live with y'all. Okay, let's get it set up here. All right, so we've got, it says, Gentlemen, as your golf game can attest, the smallest of tweaks can lead to the biggest improvements. From the subtle tailoring of a t-shirt sleeve to a pinch of cayenne pepper in your barbecue dry rub, it's all about the fine tuning. Consider this month's assortment of subtle draw, or a subtle draw on a towering tee shot to put you right in the middle of the fairway. Cheers, Birchbox Man. Okay, and there's a guide on the back that just gives you styling tips, grooming tips, uh, a drink here, the Whiskey Smash. Uh, looks kind of good there. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to cheat and look at the list first. I just kind of want to go into the box and see what we've got. So, looks like first thing, a t-shirt actually, which is, is interesting. It says here, the classic. Barking Irons Brando Cut T-Shirt would be $46 for a two-pack. It's a vintage fit with short angled sleeves and a subtle jersey hem. Superior tailoring makes for a staple you can wear any time. Size is based on a grooming profile. Hmm, okay, let's see. So it says here... Ooh, if I can get into it with one hand as I'm trying to hold the camera here. So, a perfect fit, American Grit, Barking Iron's basic Brando Fitch t-shirt is a look back at the golden age of cultural rebellion from the GIs returning home after the war to the first generation in rock and roll. The Brando t-shirt began with attitudes, slightly raised sleeves, and a decisively tailored body. So it sounds like a slim fit. Barking Iron's Bowery. I wonder if that's Bowery as in on the Bowery, New York. That's, oh yeah, it is, nice. Um, let's see, I'll try to get the twine off of this so I can unroll the shirt and see what we've got on it. So that's a pretty good value. Then if we're getting one, that would be a, you know, a $23 value. Then you're paying for your box right there. I'll try to hold this up. It's going to be a little tough. Bear with me as I cover everything up here. Okay, so it's just a standard t-shirt, basically. Um, no pattern or anything on it, but it seems nicely made. Okay, actually, I can see here, so it's the short the sleeve is very short underneath there, and then the hem at the bottom is a sort of oval shape there, so it's not like not a straight cut. It feels, it's very soft, very nicely made, and if we look at the logo here, so that's an extra large, Barking Irons, Bowery, New York, North River, 100% cotton, history of the making. So, and it's a it's sort of a, a drab olive, which, or maybe even a taupe or something. It's actually, actually pretty nice. I think I will, I will definitely wear that. It's that's pretty nice. I like that a lot, actually. So that's, that's a cool start. As I continue to make a mess of everything here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So first up, we've got the T-shirt. I mean, that took up most of the space in the box, of course. So of course, other pack-ins here. We, aside from our list, we've got, let's see, help us build a school, perch box with pencils of promise, uh, summer select items, and then of course just the guide telling you to check it out and to purchase the items on their website at their retail price. So let's dig into the other items in the box. We've got a little small, they're sort of standard small assortment here in the tissue paper. So we've got three items. First up, I'm familiar with this product. This looks like a deluxe sample of Kiehl's Close Shaver Squadron Ultimate Brushless Shave Cream Hair Razor Formula. And it reads on the card as 
Kiehl's Ultimate Brushless Shave Cream, Camphor and Menthol Infused Cream for a Calm Cool Shave. After hot shower, spread sparingly over whiskers, shave normally, retails for $16. I can attest right off the bat that this is a fantastic product. Um, I'm a big fan of this. Here you get half of a fluid ounce or 15 mils. Um, this easily, I would say, is probably five shaves. Um, I don't have a super thick beard, so um, I don't need a ton of it. Um, but I do shave every day, and this is a really great product. Um, I actually think I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos when I got a different shaving cream in it. But it comes out, it's sort of a thick cream, and it's definitely got a strong camphor and menthol smell to it. Um, it goes on like a cream, and it just it provides a really nice shave. It feels good, um, a close shave, and just a really, really high-quality product. So I highly recommend that, and this I'll probably just use for travel, since it's the perfect deluxe sample size. Then we've got, what is this, another toothpaste. Kind of interesting that we, we got toothpaste last month and now toothpaste again. Um, it's interesting, I guess it's something to try. Again, with men's box, they're kind of limited. They, you know, they're not doing makeup samples, so they don't have a lot of different grooming products to choose from. Um, but I could go without a second toothpaste in a row. Uh, and this is Marvis Classic Mint Toothpaste. Italian imported toothpaste with an apothecary inspired design, pea sized amount unbrushed twice a day, no excuses, that retails for $10.50. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of, as basic as it seems, of the Colgate Total. It has triclosan in it and it really does seem to provide a really good clean and if you throw in the whitening formula with that, um, if you start with white teeth, it definitely keeps them white. Um, but this, I'll certainly give it a shot. It's got sort of a CO Bigelow sort of apothecary design, so I wonder who was first, Bigelow or Marvis. And it's just, you know, let's see here. So your standard aluminum hydroxide, sorbitol glycerin. Da, da, da. I'm not sure. I don't see sodium lauryl sulfate. I don't see in here. Let's see. There's parabens. Uh, I don't see fluoride in here. I don't know if aluminum hydroxide replaces that or, or what. But again, this small little travel size. And if it's a, you know, a true nice strong mint, little sort of metal tube. Let's see. I'll taste a little tiny bit. Mm, you know, standard minty toothpaste. I, I guess it's a you know, decent quality if it retails for $10.50 for a single tube. But And last but not least, what else have we got here? Uh, da -da -da -da. We've got Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. Eye cream that erases years or just a rough night from your face. Gently dab a small amount to the under eye area, morning and night. Retails for $65. So this must be a pretty good product. This is actually shrink wrapped and this is complete eye renewal balm alginist with aluronic acid and I'm not sure if the amount here it just says distributed by alginist South San Francisco and this is 0.23 fluid ounces or 7 mils um, shrink wrapped it's I don't I, I assume this would be a deluxe sample and not let's see the full size doesn't say what the full size um, is but it retails for 65 so either way <clears throat> a deluxe sample of this I'm sure it goes a long way so that's a pretty nice product um, let's see if we can take a look at this definitely a high high quality packaging it's glass with like a really like that hard hard plastic and if you look inside here sort of a, a strong dollop I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my finger to see so it feels sort of like a, a custardy consistency we got there and it rubs in. It's very, I'm familiar with, um, I use a few different Kiehl's eye products, which if you looked at my uh, grooming, or rather my daily um, skincare routine video, um, there, I use a few different Kiehl's eye products, and this one feels different from that. A little silkier, um, maybe more like a moisturizer, or let's see, they're calling it a balm. I, I guess I could see it as a balm, um, but I always think of a balm as being something more kind of savvy, um, with savvy with an L, you know, sav, um, or something that has like a petroleum base, and this doesn't seem to have that. I actually want to learn more about this. It seems like it's it's a pretty interesting product. Um, so let's again, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely follow up on this in a in a future video. I think maybe I'll do another Birchbox uh, review video, sort of giving an update on the products from the first uh, what four boxes now to say you know what I liked, what I didn't like. So. Just a quick overview again here. We have the Kiehl's Close Shavers Squadron Brushless Shave Cream, the Alginist Complete Eye Renewal Balm, the Marvist 
Marvis, excuse me, classic mint toothpaste, and the Barking Irons Brando Cut T-shirt. Um, so that's an interesting box. Um, I can see the fine tuning. Um, I mean, toothpaste and shaving cream. Uh, I guess I, I guess you could call it fine tuning, but uh, certainly the the eye balm is an interesting item for me. I, I think I said in one of my earlier videos that I was hoping to see them do. Uh, Kiehl's products and more sort of eye creams and things like that. So I think they're pretty much spot on uh, with what I'm what I've been looking for with with you know the recent boxes. I hope that coming up we'll maybe get some more fragrance items. Um, I definitely enjoyed those in the first two boxes, but it's pretty cool that they're throwing in you know full items like a T-shirt. I'd say that's definitely more useful than a sock, um, like the first box. And again, even though it's a super super basic um, tea it definitely seems to be a high quality um, tea with you know a nod at two specific design items and certainly they're calling it the Brando uh, the Brando cut so they're you know inspired by you know that vintage look so again uh, I, I think this is a pretty good box and we'll see what they bring us for September if you have any questions or comments about this uh, video these products any other products we've done in the past please do comment below and I'll be happy to follow up on any of those and until next time thanks for watching bye bye